So the next thing we're going to go over is scientific method. We learned about atoms, uh, molecules and chemistry. Remember, chemistry is basically looking at the behavior of matter. You know, how can we combine those atoms to make new molecules? Okay, so now we need to look at the scientific method. How do we study this? Okay, so chemistry is studying atoms and molecules, but now what's the process of studying? And this is called the scientific method or uh, scientific approach, if you want. This is based on observation and knowledge. So we'll come back to this slide, but let's start right here. This is a scientific method. So let me pull this up. Actually, let me maximize this. And that did not maximize it. So let me... Pull this here. Let's go to slideshow. Here we go. So you can see it fully. The first thing you might do is ask a question. Now this is ask a question, but it could be make an observation. Okay. You know, maybe you don't know a question to ask yet. So maybe you're just, you're outside, you're observing um, anything. And the scientific method will, you know, this goes into anything that you're studying, not just chemistry. Okay. So let's actually, let's apply this to chiropractic. Okay. Let's look at a, an observation. Okay, let's say that you notice, I don't know, every time somebody comes in with a cough, okay, if you give them a, uh, let's see, I don't know, you know, some sort of, okay. Okay, so let's think about the scientific method here. The first thing you might do is make an observation, okay? Or ask a question, you know? Why is the sky blue? You know, maybe, you know, usually starts with an observation if you want. You're outside, you're little, you're looking up, and you're like, why is the sky blue? All right? So an observation slash, slash ask a question, okay? So the next thing you're going to do is maybe some uh, background research, okay? You're going to read some journal articles, hopefully peer-reviewed. Uh, you know, go to the library, the librarian to help you, and hopefully not do Wikipedia searches. <laughs> and you're going to, you know, put all this background research together, you know, pull all of this information together. Then you're going to construct a hypothesis, okay? I think the sky is blue because it's made of, I don't know, water, let's say. And water is blue, at least when I color it with a crayon, okay? So that's my hypothesis. Now I'm going to test it with an experiment, okay? So now I'm going to try different things. I'm going to mix things together, try it out, see what, I happen, see what happens, okay? I'm going to get results, okay? Then the next thing I'm going to do is analyze the results, okay? So I have all these results. It's in a nice data table. Uh, now I'm going to analyze them and draw conclusions. What do I see here? And then from there, I'm going to think, okay, was my hypothesis true? Okay, going back to my original hypothesis, or was it not true, or only partially true? Now, if it is true, what I would do actually is not exactly go to report results, but I would actually repeat it, repeat the experiment, repeat it several times to make sure you get the right results. Okay, uh, let's say you don't get the right conclusion. You know, you don't, it's not exactly what you want. Well, then you just try again, okay? Do some more research, you know, and think, okay, well, maybe that's not what I meant. Maybe it's really this way. So construct a new hypothesis. And a hypothesis is really just a question, if you want, you know, an educated guess. Okay? You're going to retest it. You're going to analyze the results. Okay? And then come back here. And when you finally feel satisfied with it, then you're going to finally report it. You can report it. Uh, by doing a presentation, not just like in class, but you know, at a conference, you could write a journal article about it, you could start a blog. Uh, there's different things you can do um, to report it. 
Now again, you, you really want to repeat your results, but I mean, this is a scientific method. This is how any scientist thinks. And when I say scientist, I don't mean chemist. I mean anybody in the scientific field. This includes chiropractic. So if you're doing studies, you're going to be doing the same thing. Okay, let's think about this. Let's say a patient comes in, you know, and they complain about, you know, X, um, X complaint. We're going to call it, you know, complaint X, okay? So you ask a question. The question is, hmm, you know, why are they getting that? Okay, so you go and you're going to do some background research, okay? And this background research uh, you're going to get from the library some articles. Then you construct a hypothesis, okay? Well, I think after um, reading many papers that they're possibly getting this, you know, condition X because of Y. And then you're going to test the experiment. Okay, you're going to test different things. You know, see, well, if this is true, then this should help them. You know, so test that out. Then they're going to come back, your patient will come back, and they'll give you their conclusion. You know, well, have they seen an improvement? Yes, no, maybe, you know. You're going to analyze those uh, results, draw a conclusion. Okay, and you're going to decide, okay, was I right or was I wrong? Okay, whenever you thought your, the, your patient had this, you know, uh, sickness, let's say. Okay, let's say you're wrong, okay, and that just, you know, whatever you gave them didn't help and it's not working, okay, well, let's, all you do is think again, okay, well, if it's not that, what else could it be? So then you construct a new hypothesis, you know, you try a new treatment, you see how the treatment's working, and then you reanalyze to see if the, you know, the treatment's working, if it's correct, you know, and maybe you find, you know, a unique case and you can actually report the results. So, I mean, this applies to anything, you know, patient care even. Scientific method is so important. And, you know, in this, bringing it back to class, this is what chemistry is. So when we're getting our atoms and we're trying to combine them in new ways to make new molecules, you know, when we combine them, we're, you know, testing different experiments, analyzing results, you know, drawing conclusions. We're doing all of this. We're using the scientific method to um, get our conclusions. Okay, I hope that helps.